Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show. Bumpy Mix Quiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of the Heroes Chronicles series. This is Conquest of the Underworld, and we're about to go to the True Within a Nightmare. Or truth Within Nightmares, I apologize. Uh, Tarna must kill Sandro to get the key to the next level. All heroes are limited to level 18, but Tarnum and his two best captains will transfer over to the next scenario. The Sword of Judgment will also carry you over to the next scenario. Tarnum, of course, must not die. We either go with a bonus to attack or a bonus to defense. We're playing on the hard difficulty, I believe, or are we up to the expert? I don't know. I'm going to say we're going to go expert. I have no idea. I don't remember. It's fine. The torments of the underworld are visited upon those who dwell there, which is why so many of its inhabitants are insane. After months in this dark land, Tarn and his men began to succumb to the ghosts of their past, but none worse than the immortal people. Indeed. None worse indeed. Alright, now I must face Sandro, the necromancer, who holds the key to the next level of the underworld. He's not likely to give it up freely. Sandro dwells in the deepest, the deepest, most vile parts of the caverns. However, I hear rumors of two lesser demon barons who also protect this plane. One good piece of news, though, the angels and archangels have decided to join the fight. That is one good piece of news. All right, let's go here and looks like we're gonna get some archers on our side and get to stepping, get to moving, getting the things getting done. Tarnum, you are right outside the town, which is a perfection for you, friend. Let's get you there. And snag up our units. Hope that they are strong enough to get us to where we need to go. Tarnum has a spell book and all the other wonderful fun things, I believe. We are going to want the gold early. Um, I suppose we should figure out where we're going to head. Alright, Cuthbert, you're right there, friend. Why don't you come over here and give up your troops to the one true master of all, Tarnum. For some reason, you kept your Helm of the Heavenly Enlightenment. So why don't you hand that on over as well. Alright. Tarnum is ready to make waves and curds and stuff. It's waves, curds and waves. I know... A ragged-looking griffin swoops down from the sky and faints dead away at your feet. Okay. Looks as if the poor creature had been forced to fight a hundred times, wondering why he didn't just fly away. You find the shackles of war firmly bound on his feet. You remove them and order some of the men to give the poor or the proud creature a decent burial. The shackles of war. All right, and you, my dear, have to come down here. Are you Sylvia? Is that who you are? Yes, you are Sylvia. Alright. Go over here and gather up some more troops. Yes, archers are good. They are great. Alright, we've finished our first turn. Yay for things! Alright, we're up against a whole bunch of wraithy skeletal type individuals. It's probably not great for us, but we'll be fine. I'm sure of it. I'm not sure of anything. Alright, there we go. That's a bit better. Start combat. Don't drain my spell point. Actually, that probably isn't going to be a big factor, but it might be a small factor. It may cause us some issues. We'll see. We shall see. Alright, what do we got? We have absolutely no spells. Uh, spell power at all. Wow, they drained that much. We had 70 mana points. We have zero at this point. That's rough. That is a bit rough. Um, yeah. That's what I figured. All right, we'll wait, we'll wait. We'll take a shot. I guess we'll take another shot. We'll take you out. Defend will defend. Really? That was your play, huh? That seems odd to me. Well, whatever. That's a free win for me with uh, well, nothing really going against us there. So I'll take it. This is archers. It is. More archers coming to help out. 
And more wraiths coming to make my life slightly miserable. Miserable. Uh, next creature, next creature. Move. Go, go. Yay. Wait, wait. Kill. Kill. Defend, defend. Mock. Wait, wait. Kill. Victory. All right. You go with advanced wisdom or expert leadership. It's a tough one. I think I'm going to go with the wisdom. Leadership's really good, though. But again, once we already have the basic skills that we want, the rest don't matter so much. Uh, I can't deal with the walking dead right now, so that's fine. Alright, we'll come back and we'll gather up some more goodies and things. Um, there is a horsey thing over here. Just guarded by skeletons. That we should be able to annihilate. It looks like we'll be fine. Next creature. You up there. I guess we're just going to be near it. Alright. We should also have some magic arrows to go and loosen the enemy's uh, joints. And essentially make them fall apart. Joint reduction. Story at 11. Yes. Alright, defend. Pew! Defend. Pew! Wait. Pew. And kill. Yay, victory! Cool. Easy enough stuff, and it looks like we'll be able to get ourselves some decent things. Probably can't deal with that just yet, but that is on our to-do list. Blacksmith and barracks need to be built. We already have the barracks. No, we don't. No, no. We have to get the blacksmith to build the barracks, and we build the barracks, and we... Yeah, it's, it's a little weird with the Haven faction, because you kind of build backwards than what you're used to. I mean, it's fine. It's just a little weird. All right. A pack of liches. That could be a problem, especially without any magic. We'll go here for now. The Walking Dead should be easy enough to deal with, one would think. One would know. And, eh. I just start combat, let them waddle toward us. Uh, get a couple of free shots on them. And, yeah. Done. Alright, so there you go. Simple and easy. Sweet, sweet, nice style. Alright, nothing going there. Some more wood over here. You are not defending, so I can snag that bad boy up. I'm really going there. Uh, let's take that. Let's get this. It's always risky to expand out as quickly as I'm doing, but at the same time, it's that whole risk versus reward thing. Right now, I feel like some risky rewards are probably going to be the best play. Alright, we got our barracks up and running. We can now hire these guys. Swordsman, while underwhelming to be sure, but not too, too bad. My dreams have turned to those days when I was rebuilding the glory of my people back before I became the immortal hero. There is nothing like the open road ahead of you and an army rumbling at your back. Even the smell of hundreds of men, orcs, goblins, wolf raiders, and ogres was a comfort compared to the rotten egg stench of these caverns. I belonged to something greater than myself then. I was doing what was right by unifying my people under one banner so we could win our freedom back from our oppressors. I miss those days. Me too. Probably a bit less than you do, but... What do we fight? Oh. And he blended in pretty decently. I mean, I knew that's where I was going to head to fight, but I didn't see him when I clicked it first. I was like... Rrr? Alright, bring it on. What you got? You got owned is kind of what you got. Defend, defend, defend. Wait. Can't wait with you. Dead. Dead. Alright, so there we go. Simple and easy. Good stuff all around. What are we looking at down here? Some more random stuff kind of wish that that group would join me, but there's no promise or guarantee that that would happen. So we're going to have to just guess that that's not going to be a thing. Definitely can't deal with that just yet. Um, can't deal with most of the stuff, so I need to start backtracking. 
Uh, on this side, we can go with the Griffins. The Monastery, we need the Mage Guild. Probably also need a Marketplace at some point, but that's okay. We'll start with the Mage Guild. It's fine. We'll end our turn. Uh, this is a Griffin Tower. Don't think we're quite ready for that just yet. We'll come and get our magic drained once more. Because, you know, that's how we roll. We have three spell points. I guess we should probably do it this way, just like we did before. Same situation. Hopefully the same outcome. We'll be mana -less. They'll be all like... Bruh, 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 bruh. And then we kill them. So... Um, yeah. Yep. Oh, no! Easy victory. We have the gem pond. Oops, I missed it. Can't get to that. Alright, so we're gonna head down and we'll loop around and we'll get all the stuff. We'll get all the stuffs. We'll go our way. I'm gonna go with basic water magic. I don't like scholar so much. I can't really traverse any further that way. Alright, so if anything was left behind, now would be the time for us to go and make it our own. And I think Sylvia might be okay to... I think we're strong enough to deal with vampires. I'm not positive, though. Alright, the Monastery, the Griffin Tower, then the Citadel. Should be okay. Queen Allison has now moved into the castle. We discussed her participation in the exploration of this level, but I told her I needed someone I could trust to watch the castle. I think I, that I convinced her. Surprisingly, she carries herself boldly and proudly, even though we're surrounded by a never-fading reek of death. Most Arathian women would have fainted away. Even more impressive, the men don't seem to resent her presence. In fact, I think they've developed a newfound respect for their queen. That's good. Indeed it is. Indeed it is. Alright, so let's give this a shot. We'll make sure we do the building in case for whatever reason I can like, Rah! and I just decide to run away. Or, you know, after the battle I'm all like, Rah! so let's go over here and do battle with you. Oh, this doesn't look good. This does not look good. Especially without magic to augment me, but we'll give it a shot. There's a pretty good chance we can still pull this out, but whoo, not going to be easy. Okay, so that's all we've got, huh? Defend. Hit you. It's not going to go well. Yeah, definitely saw that coming. Alright, I'm going to wait. I'm gonna hit you with that. I'm gonna take you down. I'm gonna kill you off. I'm gonna defend. Eh, it's okay. This isn't as bad as it was originally looking. Alright, we've got this. No big deal. We lost three. Eh, not a big deal. It was looking scary. Vamps are, are not the easiest thing to deal with in the world, so. You know. Alright, so this should be, again, relatively simplistic, kind of straightforward. Sorry, guys, I'm going to fidget in my chair just a little tiny bit there. I wish my chair wasn't so creaky, but you know what? It's still way better than it was the sinking chair of doom, so I will take that 100% of the time over the alternative. Alright, wait, wait. Shoot and murder. Defend, defend. And wait, and wait, and kill the... We probably could have killed it with our pikemen, but... Eh. Eh. I, I suppose I need to do this just to make sure it happens. Alright, what are you doing? You're coming up here. You've already done that, apparently. And you can come down here and grab this. Grab that. Uh, I'm going to say advanced earth magic for right now. We don't have the spells we need for the other stuff, and we'll head up there and we'll gather that up. I think we're preparing for more recruitment things on this side of life. So we'll stop right there, and we're done with that. Gather up this. Ok, 
Yeah, the, the battle against this guy. I think we can pretty much just stay here. We don't have to use our tactics this time. Alright, let's say we take you down. Defend, 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 defend. Wait, shoot, and score! Alright, sweet. Simple and easy. Yep, I will gather more Archerians from you and come down here to get that. I will be doing pretty good. I really want to take that out. I know we can't do it yet, but soon. Soon we should be able to. Okay, best thing we can do at this point is the the Citadel to get the bonus growth to our core creatures there. Might seem a little poopy at times, but it is our best bet, our best play. Alright, so we end the turn. Royal Griffin growth is increased. Fantastic. We're right here. We can actually gather archers once again, which is really good for us. We go with... You know, I'm going to go with knowledge for once. We really don't have a lot of mana, so... Dealing with that situation is probably the better option. Alright, we'll gather up all the troops that we can afford. Bring them all back. Got the tiny amount of gold that remains. And yeah, it looks like we'll be heading back with you as well. And at this point... Um, probably the marketplace into the castle maybe maybe we go with the other stuff i don't know we'll see in my dreams i can i think i can still hear the clash of arms as the wizard kings of bracadoon set their dogs to quell my rebellion it was the first time i faced my oppressors in battle and my army triumphed when all others thought we would fail i can still see the look of fear on their faces of the cowardly wizards as we as we rose up and took back what was ours my men were a little afraid as well. They had never known a life without servitude. But their courage hadn't been bred out of them yet. They rallied around me. It was a glorious moment in barbarian history. One I shall always remember. Indeed, friend. Indeed. Um... Moment here. We gotta get the stables. We also got the Portal of Glory. We're in a weird situation here. I'm going to go with the stables first. And I know that's kind of questionable play, so... Be aware that I'm aware. That is questionable. Um, Cuthbert, you go over here. You exchange your peeps with Sylvia. Can I move... I, yes, I can. I'm like, can I move that, like, out of... I might actually want to put that on Tarnum, because I don't want people to run from him. Maybe that's going to be a good play. I don't know. We'll see soon enough. All right, we'll do that. We'll go over here with Sylvia. We've got the stables. we got ourselves a whole bunch of troops. And we're going to be good to go here soon. Unfortunately, it looks like my episode's going to be drawn a bit short from what I'd prefer. But, it'll be okay in the end, I think. Um, yeah, I'm going to try the battle. Ooh, this has got disaster written all over it as well. But, again, I think we've got what it takes to manage this fight. Start combat. It's going to get rough. Especially with stuff like... Oh, they waited. Interesting. Okay, we're going to defend, we're going to defend, they're going to make their moves forward. I think they're going to probably focus pretty heavily on that. I don't know that that's going to actually cost us at all. I don't think it will, but you never know. I'm afraid to move out and attack at this point. But I suppose we don't really have a whole heck of a lot of choices here. A few folks will move up. There will be some death, but it shouldn't be... Oh, that's unfortunate. That was like the worst possible scenario that could have happened. It's alright. We lost six archers. It's obviously not great, but it's okay. Um, we're not sieging towers right now. The ballistics I don't think is super important. Take the thousand there, and now we're going to head back up. It's going to be fine. 
All right, we'll end our turn. We've got one more. I think this is going to be our last turn, guys and gals, for this episode. I apologize. I was hoping we can go a bit further with it, but unfortunately not. And we are starting to run out of money, so... Yeah, it's not looking great for us. However, we can still give ourselves a pretty good start. Then we're going to have to play money recovery, essentially. But we have a lot of things going our way at this point, so that's good. Alright, so we need you, essentially, to just go and meet up over there, I suppose. A nice big old strong force. Come on up and exchange in the next turn. Alright, I already have the Helm of Heavenly Enlightenment. Reports have confirmed that the Sword of Judgment is somewhere on this plane of the Underworld. It is a powerful weapon for the forces of good, and we must find it. The clerics tell me that combining several other items with the necklace, the helm, the sword, will create the Angelic Alliance, a formidable weapon with the power to not only increase the abilities of its wearer, but also cast prayer on any troops that follow him. Which si sounds underwhelming, but it's not. It's actually not underwhelming at all. Prayer is quite the skill. Alright, so now we're like demigods at this point compared to what we're battling against. I believe we can probably roll with this army for a very, oops, a very long time. Sorry guys, my mouse is super sensitive. I have a hard time clicking. I forgot to set down the sensitivity before I started the episode as well. But, but, I think we're going to be okay. We'll get Sylvia out of the way. We'll get Tarnum to finally make it to this place. And the champions have just been upgraded. Or, well, the horsemen or the cavaliers, wherever they were considered, were just upgraded to champions, which is nice. And you don't really have anything to do right now. So we're going to do our building, we're going to probably get the city hall upgraded, and then hopefully we have enough money by the end of it to get the castle upgraded as well. So I'm going to end the turn, and with that we're going to end the episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I will be back, hopefully a bit more regularly with the Hom series. Again, the vacation kind of threw everything out of whack, but we're getting back into the swing of things quite normally, so... Uh, after this scenario, this map is done, we'll hop on over, I believe it's to HOM 3 HD, and then we'll hop back to this, and then back to HOM 6, as is the norm. Anyway, folks, until the very next episode, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>